Are you ready to go on a shopping spree? I went shopping and I'm going to share with you some of the things I bought today and show you how to style it. Let's get started. went on a shopping spree. Who doesn't love to go shopping? I love, 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 maybe a little too much going shopping. And today I went to Chico's. This is what I got today and I'm going to show you how to style it. So let's start first with this gorgeous, gorgeous poncho. I love this poncho for a couple of reasons. Obviously, the coloration. I love the leopard print. It is beautiful. I love the gold and the black. It's one of my favorite color combinations, but I like that it's got a lot of colors for fall. So it's got the chamois colored um, yellows, the camel colors, the olive colored greens, as well as the black, and of course, the white background, which you can wear with anything. And while I was there, I also picked up this necklace of gold beads and pearls to wear with it. I think that will be pretty with this, but with a lot of things later on. So what I like about this poncho, I like the detail of the big wide trim that encases it, but a lot of ponchos don't make the arms like true arms. They aren't sewed shut. This one has the sewed shut arms, so it's got a stitching down through here so they don't flap open while you're wearing them. Now, I plan on wearing this with a pair of black ponte pants that I already have, and I have them here. These are a pair I already had, and I will be putting that together. And I'll be showing you that look in just a minute. So next, we have a little bit of nod to the Bridgerton effect. I don't know if you've watched Bridgerton. Honestly, I haven't because I don't watch TV. But the Bridgerton effect is basically a show that is having an effect on fashion. And the way they are affecting the fashion is lots of lace, ruffles, cut out the sides, very feminine fashion. So I bought this gorgeous navy top for that very reason. All the little cutouts, lace looking design, and it's so pretty, but of course, I want something covering me in some of these spots. So I got this matching navy layering tank. I love this tank. It has some stretchiness to it, which is great. I sized up, so when I buy a layering tank like this, because they tend to fit tighter, I don't want lumps and bumps showing. Uh, no, thank you. So I sized up so that if I wanted to wear it, it would it'd be hanging more loose. It wouldn't stick to my skin, show every lump and bump. But what I like about this one, as you can see, it is very deep necked for a deep scoop, or you can turn it around for a reversible higher neck if you don't want the deep scoop. And I think it's going to look fabulous under this top. Now, with the top, I plan on wearing it with these lighter jeans. So I do like the dark and the light, how they play off of each other. And even though this top looks a little bit on the dressy side, I intend to wear it very casually. So these jeans are a pull-on style jean. Ah, thank you, pull-on style gods. Yes, I love my pull-on style uh, jeans. This set has a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of distressing. Not much, just a little bit of hole here, a little bit of distressing on the pockets, on the side down here. Very small amount of distressing. So the huge, gaping, 
thigh showing, big knees showing, holes distressing is going away, but this slight distressing is still very much in fashion. It's also got the fringe cuffs, and these cuffs are sewn, so you don't have to worry about getting the correct length. They are already sewed together. So this is how I will style that. Next, because I was in a blue kind of mood, I bought this gorgeous, gorgeous, fine knit uh, sweater. I love the way it's made. I love, love, love the color. Matches my eyes, so blue is one of my colors. And I um, bought this large link necklace to go with it. It is very long, very nice and heavy weighted. And I got these disc earrings. They're just pretty silver. This kind of jewelry can be worn with anything you want to wear it with. And it's something that I will be able to wear over and over and over again. Now this does have a very low V-neck. I've not tried it on yet to see how deep that V-neck is. But if it's too deep, I'll either put on a lace camisole underneath it. Once again, the Bridgerton effect. Or I can even wear this under it which will give me just a tiny bit of coverage underneath it to, uh, if I'm just not comfortable with it. So it's up to you how you wanna do that. But with this one, because it is lighter, I'm going to wear it with a pair of dark colored jeans I already own. So this is how I'm going to style this, and I'll show you how that looks in a minute. Now, color, 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 color. I love color. And hardly, I don't think I've met a color I didn't like. This scarf is also from Chico's. So I bought this mainly because I have a top already ordered that is in this chamois color, this pale yellow color, and I absolutely love it. So I bought this scarf to go with that, but it will go with so many other things. There's shades of greens and blacks and grays. Of course, that beautiful blue, cobalt blue. So this is one I will be able to wear a lot this fall, but I love a scarf. I think it blends a top and a bottom together. It is that third element that can tie it all together, and I love a scarf. So I bought that because of the color. I bought this because of the color also. As soon as I walked into the store, I was immediately drawn to this deep plum purple faux suede moto jacket. Now this is a little bit of longer length. It is a longer length moto jacket and I love it. It is beautiful, I can't wait to try it on. It has very heavy weight uh, zippers, very, very nice made and it is a heavy weight jacket so it's got some substantial oomph to it. I do tend to buy colors I like, and because I buy colors I like, I will probably be able to find things in my closet already that will go with this in the shade because I do buy that a lot. But just in case, I bought these jeans. So look at this shade here, this brocade look, the beautiful purples in there with the gold, and even like down through the distressing, there's a tiny bit of coloration underneath the distressing no holes that actually show through. They each have the, um, behind it, they have some material behind it. But look at these cuffs. Oh, those are so gorgeous. I can't wait to wear these. And a tiny bit of distressing on the back also. 
And as I said, look how that's gonna look with that. That is gonna be so gorgeous. Can't wait to show you how I'm gonna style that. is this. So I love this color because again, I love it because of the colors in it, the camel color uh, and the pinks. I'm very big into pink and I love the black against the stark white. Well, actually it's more like an ecru color, ivory off-white color. Love that. I think that's very elegant and gorgeous for a date night or for a girl's night out, going out with girls, meeting for lunch, whatever. And I'll probably just style it with these black pants that I already had out and try that and see how that looks. Enjoy my try-on session. I've already done one earlier with Talbots. If you haven't checked that one out, I'll be sure to put a link here. Check out my other one. And as I said, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more try-on sessions, more tips and tricks, and more makeup and beauty items. All right. Bye, girls.